getting hotter. Welcome to Jack's Garage. I'm Jackson Burns, Redneck Archaeologist. Today we're doing something a little bit different. It's not archaeology, it's uh, I don't know what you recall. This is uh, fossil hunting. Our, uh, went out looking for old plants and anything else that we could find. If we could find some dinosaurs, we would definitely be looking for them. Uh, First of all, you need tools to go out and dig up fossils. I mean, find all kinds of cool fossils. I mean, the first thing is a shovel, of course. You probably need a shovel, but you also need one of these little trowels, you know, one of these little to help dig along, a little garden trowel. And then you need a brush to brush away because you, you don't want to go too far. Uh, you might damage what you're looking for, so you need to brush it away with this. And if it's stuck or turned over, you got to turn it over. You need to have a little pry bar. To flip it over out of the ground, the rock, or wherever it may be. Uh, and then, whenever you get it out, you need to clean it up. This is not from my teeth. This is from uh, cleaning uh, rocks. And the way we do that is if you find a rock such as this fossil, which is crisscross pattern, so it looks almost like a lepidodendrium, could be a sort of a lepidodendrium or um, I can't remember the, uh, the name, I, had, I should have looked it up, but anyhow, this is a, a fossil, and it's dirty, and I've got shade on me all of a sudden. So here's what we're going to do, we're going to clean this thing up, just like that. So we clean, 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 Ooh, makes it all sparkle. And then we go, and to clean it up even better, uh, we dip it into vinegar, just uh, regular old vinegar, and we clean it with vinegar. And this cleans all the dirt and the grit and all that stuff off of it. So uh, that helps a whole lot. Cleans it up really fast. And uh, we, we finish it off with another one of these with this other end. Uh, like this. This is a fossil of a leaf. Uh, burn tree leaf. You can see it. I will get it as close as I can. Uh, possibly. On both sides. This is actually a double fossil on both sides. This is kind of rare. Not too many of them are around. Uh, that's not been cleaned or anything. This is just the way I found it. And here's my, what I call my butthole rock. So you get a lot of those. Anyhow, here's one that I've cleaned up. Made it nice and sparkly. Uh, that's a nice little fossil. Okay. And that's an imprint of it looks to be a palm tree imprint. Here we are with a palm tree. This is the fossilized palm tree. And I cleaned it and I, what I've done is I actually added a shellacking to make it this uh, shiny. So you shouldn't do that if you, you know, collectors prefer them dirty. If you have that. Here's a calamite. Uh, this is a really nice example of a petrified calamite. Uh, this is the whole root or the tree. This is like a cane and it grew uh, supposedly between 300 and 400 million years ago. You see it? Nice. Okay. Let me go on. Here is another calamite in the matrix. Still in the matrix. bigger calamite in the matrix. Here's something kind of cool. It's uh, found in West Texas in the desert. If you can see it, it's a rock with a fossil of a shell. Actually, I think it's a shell. It's just solidified. Uh, here is stigmara root. That is a stigmara root. All these run between 300 and 500 million years old. Here is a water root, or a water, uh, yeah, water root. Uh, still in the matrix. And it's all solidified. Here's a really cool piece. 
that you can actually see the ridges and the outline almost as if it was, came out of the ground yesterday. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And as you can see, I'm all about organization. What we have here is a fossil. And it looks to be a, uh, let me look at it a little bit. I thought it was a lepidodendrium, but it's not. I believe it's a, uh, looks to be a palm tree impression, imprim, a palm tree impression. It looks to be a palm tree impression, which, you know, an ancient tree about 300 million years ago was growing and all of a sudden had a great upheaval and was pushed over and buried by mud. And then this was the impression of the mud, so it would be like this piece would be flipped over laying on top of the tree or whatever and then solidified, formed into rock, and then this was the impression that was left. And the last but not least, I have plenty more, but this is something that if somebody could tell me what it is, I sure would appreciate it. I've never seen this and no one has else that I've taken it to has ever seen this before. It's a very concentrated uh, grouping of a prehistoric plant that no one knows what it is. So let me know ASAP what that is. The unknown stone. Jackson Burns, Redneck Archaeologist.